If you enjoy this video, please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like what you see on my channel and would like to support me on Patreon, click on the link below. Before Netflix, there was a time when we couldn't have instant access to TV shows that we enjoyed, especially in the early 1980s. There was no repeat viewing. A show would play just once and would never be seen again on television until years later. There were also many short-lived television shows that were actually quite enjoyable. One of those shows that come to mind is the time travel show Voyages. It was a show that captured this almost 10 year old's imagination. It was only five years ago that I rediscovered this show on a DVD box set. The basic premise of the show centered around a time traveler by the name of Phineas Bogg, played by the late John Eric Hexham, who was part of a society of time travelers called Voyagers, with the help of his companion, a young boy named Jeffrey Jones, played by Mino Palouse. They travel back and forth through time to put things that were wrong right again. Their only way to travel through time is the use of a handheld device called an Omni, which closely resembles a pocket watch. Phineas, through a malfunction in the Omni, was transported to 1982, where he meets a young boy, Jeffrey. It is revealed later in the series that despite Jeffrey's age and his accidental pairing with Phineas, he was always destined to become a Voyager. Through the one season series on their adventures, they would also meet other Voyagers, like Olivia, played by Tracy Brooks Swoop, Susan, played by Jenny Newman, and Voyager, Isaac Wolfstein, played by Michael Fox. Voyagers aired on NBC on October the 3rd of 1982 and ran for 20 episodes and was reasonably successful and very likely it would have been picked up for another season. However, the show was broadcast opposite the current affair show 60 Minutes, which would lead executives to believe that 60 Minutes would be challenged by another news program. So NBC cancelled Voyages on July the 10th, 1983, and replaced it with the news program Monitor. Throughout the series, the adventurers would travel to various times in history, making things right, which are wrong. The stories were usually pretty simple and straightforward, giving us an education about history, something that originally the Irwin Allen series The Time Tunnel did in each of its episodes. In the closing part of each episode, actor Mino Palus in a voiceover would say, if you want to learn more about the historical element in the episode, take a voyage down to your public library. It's all in books. Lead actor John Eric Hexham had appeared in a number of roles on television and movies like the biopic of quarterback Pat Trammell in The Bear. And after Voyages, he would star in Cover Up, in which he played a CIA operative posing as a male model. He co-starred on the show with Jennifer O'Neill. Sadly, the series was cut short after Hexham's tragic accidental death. After shooting a blank cartridge gunshot to the head on the set of Cover Up in 1984, which shocked the TV world. The news tonight, motion picture and television star John Eric Hexham is in critical condition tonight, a victim of a freak accident. Phil Schumann is standing by live. The Beverly Hills Medical Center, he has the latest for us. Phil? Well, what happened is that John Eric Hexham accidentally wounded himself in the head when he fired a gun loaded with blanks on the set of his television series Close Up. We're at the Beverly Hills Medical Center about a mile, less than a mile in fact, from the 20th Century Fox TV studios where the accident happened about 5.15 this afternoon. Hexham is in surgery right now. He is in critical condition with some type of a wound to his head. Actor John Eric Hexham, who shot himself in the head last Friday, is dead. At 7.31 on October 18th, John Eric Hexham was declared dead. Mr. Hexham was transferred to a Northern California hospital at 1.15 this morning, where the, at his wish and the wish of his family, his heart, kidneys, and corneas were donated for transplant purposes. Hexham seemed to have it all and might have been a major star if he was alive. Who knows? He died October the 18th of 1984. In 1985, due to the death of Hexham, Universal re-edited several episodes of the show into a telly movie. The TV movie Voyager from the Unknown was a story that was combined with the pilot episode and the episode Voyages of the Titanic, 
into one feature-length film. This version featured new special effects, some voiceover dubbing for Hexen. The character of Jeffrey was omitted, and the TV movie featured added dialogue and new footage to include a supercomputer directing the Voyager missions. The narration read, Far out in the cosmos, there exists a planet known as Voyager, where the mystery of travel into space and through time has been solved. It is inhabited by a race who call themselves Voyagers. Their purpose is to keep constant surveillance on history. These people have a time machine device called the Omni, which will take them into the past, present or future. As each Voyager graduates, he is given an Omni and a guidebook. One such graduate, Phineas Bogg, who was assigned as a field worker to operate in certain time zones, Mino Palus, after Voyagers would leave acting. And now, interestingly enough, is a high school history teacher. Voyagers was an entertaining show which now might seem a bit dated to watch. It was never really explained why time travel changed in the past. It was really just an excuse to have the characters go on adventures to put things right. Call it bad writing, but the show was what it was. A fun show for kids that would give a lesson of history in each episode. My name's Jonathan Bark. Thanks for watching.